Hey guys, it's me Blanche and welcome to Feast in the Middle East. This is where I empower you to take charge of your health to create easy and authentic Middle Eastern food. And today we're going to go to part two of our pomegranate molasses series. I was so excited that we have surpassed 10,000 subscribers that I wanted to repay you guys in some small way. So if you go to sadaf.com, S-A-D-A-F, and use my name Blanche as a promo code, you'll get 10% off. This is my favorite pomegranate molasses. I only show you guys products that I believe in. This is definitely something I believe in. So we're gonna start with the chicken. Now we made the peel off last week. We're gonna make chicken that goes with it. I just got a pound of uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I like chicken thighs because they're juicier and I don't mind fattier meats versus really lean, tough as leather kind of chicken breast. It does nothing for me. So that's why I'm using chicken thighs. And we're gonna have a really simple marinade. And the marinade is very similar to the one I use in the peel off, uh, but with a special ingredient, which I'm really excited to share with you. So first we have uh, one tablespoon of honey. And this is honey I just got from the farmer's market. So it's really good quality. I mean, look at the golden color of this honey, right? And I have three tablespoons of the pomegranate molasses, which adds a tart sweet. It's not just sweet like honey, but it adds a nice tartness. So you don't need lemon juice. And then I have a tablespoon of olive oil, right? And to this, I'm gonna add a surprise ingredient. Now, you, I would normally add four cloves of crushed garlic, which you totally can do. Add four cloves of minced garlic. But to shake things up a bit, I thought I would introduce you to uh, black garlic. Now, what's the deal with black garlic? So this garlic has sort of been uh, fermented so that the pungent taste of garlic is taken away and what you're left with is a sort of sweet molasses flavor of the garlic. I mean, look at this. It's kind of got a fudgy texture. It's kind of like dates. And then when you cut through the middle, so you could see the texture of the middle. Look at that. You could actually spread this on crackers with like maybe a bit of feta. It makes a great spread. Or um, you can put it in salad, marinades. I'm gonna just cut it, you know. It's so soft and it's easy to work with. So unlike regular garlic where you have to peel it and mince it and stuff, look at this. It's beautiful and it smells great. Um, and it adds that umami. Do you know what umami is? It's that magical cross section between sweet and savory and tart. It's kind of like all of those things in one. So it adds a little bit of sweetness and savory flavor that you can't really put a name to. That's why they call it umami. So I'm just gonna put this all in the food processor and whirl it until it's nice and ground up. So let's take it away. Okay, now before I add the marinade to the chicken, I'm gonna season it with some uh, pink salt. You don't have to use pink salt, but I do like pink salt because it has the vitamins and minerals intact. So it's really good quality. And I'm gonna just add some whole black peppercorns. There we go. Now I'm going to pour this marinade over the chicken. Ideally, you would let this chicken sit with this marinade uh, overnight. But if you don't have time and you need to do it right away, that's fine. Or you could let it marinate for like an hour or so. That's fine too. All right, so I know this looks weird because of the black garlic. That's why it's that dark color. But uh, you can also use uh, regular garlic, like I said. So let's just mix it up. Okay, right now I have a pan that's medium heat. I added about two tablespoons of avocado oil. The reason why I like avocado oil is it has a high smoke point and it won't burn as I saute the chicken. Now you can throw these on your grill, by all means, you can totally do that. Um, and you can even bake them in the oven if you do wanna bake them in the oven. Bake them at like 400 degrees for about 45, 40 to 45 minutes, okay? And don't crowd the pan if you crowd the pan too much you'll end up having more like a boiled chicken instead of, you know, a fried chicken. So we're gonna just cook these on both sides until they get nice and golden. The reason why I like pomegranate molasses with chicken instead of barbecue sauce is because barbecue sauce is just sugar. But pomegranate molasses has a lot of antioxidants in it, so you're getting good nutritional value with this chicken, which is great. I actually came up with this recipe on the fly uh, when the Palo Alto Weekly, uh, it's a newspaper here in Silicon Valley, want to come to my house, they're like, make us the most colorful dish you can come up with so we can photograph it for the paper. And it was in that moment where I came up for the idea of pomegranate glazed chicken over bulgur pilaf with more pomegranate, because pomegranate's colorful, right? So 
That's where I came up with the idea for this dish. It's almost done. It's looking golden and really nice. Okay, so this is the peel off from the last episode. I'll add here. All right, so the chicken is golden brown and cooked to perfection. Let's put it here over the peel off that we made last week. Look at that. It's like glistening. It's got that gorgeous color. Okay, I'm gonna finish it with this whole dish with something really fun. So Sadaf also makes saffron spray, which adds just the right amount of saffron to my food because I really love this spice, but it's very expensive and um, sometimes I use too much. This ensures I use the right amount and it's much more uh, cost effective. So here we go. Just spray. Look at that. And then what I'm gonna do is add some more parsley and pomegranate. Just clean out the edges here. Ah, look at that! So when uh, the Palo Alto Weekly came by and said, we want your most colorful dish, I'm like, I got your colorful dishes right here. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bite here just to get all the flavors. Oh, look at this chicken. It's beautiful. This is just exactly the way I like it. Mm -mm. So today's episode was fun because I threw in a couple of surprises from the black garlic to the saffron spray at the end. Sometimes it's the little touches that really add extra flavor to your food and I love experimenting. So, And subscribe to my channel for more awesome recipes just like this. And I'm really excited because we're going to do another recipe using pomegranate molasses but it's a dessert and it's perfect for the hot summer weather or you could eat it in winter too. I mean you could eat it all year round but I'm really excited to show it to you. So subscribe, join me on Facebook at Blanche's Feast in the Middle East and on Instagram at Blanche Media. Until next time, hope you make your own feast in the Middle East. Oh, this is crazy good. Mm -mm.